uh, you see, I, I say this is very interesting. I'm also very interesting. When you see this new look, it's because now I'm moving to another position. I'm going to turn that uh, position, that unit, to be a very interesting one. You know, in me, my belief is when there is dark, I see light. Because that position is very critical. I'm going to make sure that position is more exciting and it does what it's supposed to do. That position deals with the issue of provinces and all our radio stations including news and other units they are in those provinces. I'm going to make sure those provinces they occupy the space, not Auckland Park. Because in those provinces, we need to make sure that we assist emerging production house. Those people who are content providers, I'm going to make sure that I focus on those issues within uh, uh, the organization so that the chocolate cake that I refer to most of the time, all provinces are catered for. All 11 langu languages are catered for. Because when we are saying people should produce content, we are not implying people producing content in English. We are implying people producing content in those 11 languages. And all our platform should cater for that. If you look at the SABC, you have <coughs> buildings all over the provinces. But people are not aware that we also have houses everywhere in Houte, in Soweto, in Limpopo, you have land, you have houses somewhere in the northwest. The question is, are we in a business of houses? Or are we in a business of broadcasting? Now I'm going to deal and enjoy making sure that unit does what it's supposed to do. And I'm happy that uh, I'm going back to the posi position that I have been holding. And actually, everything that I have done as the COO I have been doing those projects when I was in charge for uh, uh, corporate affairs. Those were my projects. So I'm going to deal with those projects. What is very interesting is media. Now you are my partner. Because some of my role is to manage stakeholders. We are going to have fun with you so that we are able to put the issues of the SABC accordingly. People have been talking about Saudi stress, and I want to repeat again, enemy will never have stress. The team that I work with, they know I'm a different animal. And what is more important also for me is, when it comes to the court matters, several times I mentioned through my lawyer, Zola Maja, I respect the court. The reason why I went for disciplinary hearing is because I respect those process and I was cleared. But many people, not many people, few people, those who are malicious, even when they read the court judgment, they mislead the public. You see, the problem that we are facing in South Africa is people push certain agenda and mislead the public. And let me tell you, public, they are not stupid. <coughs> they know what is happening. In South Africa, I have more majority than those who are making noise. There are few. Everywhere where I go, People support Saudi. West in the rural area. Because you know I'm a rural boy. 
And I'm here in Gauteng to change the mindset of people, believing that if you come from rural, you can't achieve. And I want to assure you, before you ask me questions, I'm going to apply for the job. It's a given. And I qualify to apply for that job. Even when you read the judgment, Judge Davis, and let me tell you about uh, Judge Davis. I like him. You know, when I was sitting there, I was enjoying myself. Because the way he was questioning the process of the SABC, the way he was questioning my legal counsel, including other legal counsel, I realized that he's a good judge. Because he even mentioned Cloud is not here. I'm not dealing with Cloud here. I'm dealing with the process. Cloud is not an issue. And US media, you don't deal with those issues. When you read that judgment, that judgment, Cloud is not an issue. The issue is those serious allegations from the public protector. How can the SABC appoint someone when there are those serious allegations? He's also saying, if Saudi is cleared, Saudi can walk in that position. But follow process. Don't be malicious and mislead the public. And also, I have been observing people talking, talking, including some people who claim themselves as lawyers. The reason is, are these people reading the judgment? Or they have motives to mislead and push their own agenda? The challenge in South Africa is transformation of media. And I'm not apologetic about that. We must transform media. It doesn't matter which position I occupy. When I was still a very uh, a junior person at the SABC, I have been very vocal on certain issues. I'm not going to stop to raise those issues that are critical for this country, for the organization itself. And I can confirm here, 90% is going to stay. Transformation, we are going to deal as a team. We are going to deal with transformation unapologetic. But also, I have observed that when I read the newspapers, people who call themselves sources, they don't even understand what they are talking about when they give you information. Because if you understand what you are talking about, you will reala realize that you are misleading the people that you are giving uh, uh, information to. In my view, Cloud is winning. It's Cloud is winning, and there's only one Cloud in South Africa. It's this one called Cloud. No one else. And also, you see, when you have all this halabalu around you, I was not produced by by media. I was not produced by individuals. I have my own brain, I have my own vision. And I want to repeat, my future is in my hands. <clears throat> I want to repeat that. My future is in my hands. Because even if I'm not at the SABC, who said if I'm not at the SABC, I can't contribute even better for South Africa? I can. And actually, <clears throat> they have Many people, they have been interacting with me, approaching me to join them, and for a good reason. But the journey is transformation of the SABC. And I want to be part of that journey, which I have started, and I'm not going to stop. And I have confidence in the SABC management and the board of the SABC. And also, 
I want to applaud people who recognize this wonderful person called Saudi, Dr. Ben Ngubani, Ellen Shabara, Professor Maguvi, and all those board members. Because when I came here, there was no SABC. People who work here, they will tell you, there was no SABC. When I came here, there was just a disaster. And the road that I'm going back, everything happens for a good reason. Maybe it's to, for me to go back and fix the SABC, because that is the role of stakeholder. <coughs> and also make sure that SABC manage its stakeholders accordingly including ourselves. We are going to have many parties now. <laughs> Breakfast, dinner, enjoy ourselves, <coughs> put money, and enjoy. That's what I'm going to do. Because when you manage stakeholders, you can't manage to, uh, stakeholders without budget. Because I need to engage you so that you know SABC better. So I'm going to do that. And financially, SABC is sustainable, I'm still going to contribute when it comes to those critical projects within the organization. Now here's my two boss <coughs> sitting in front of you, Audrey, the CFO, and the acting GCO. It's good. You know in life, today you're up there, tomorrow down, you come back, you go down. It's life. And you need to make sure that you proceed and you do what you need to do. But you know, the titles, <coughs> previously, who was talking about the COO of the SABC? You didn't even know about this position COO. You just know the COO, but you didn't know. Today, you are going to know about this corporate affairs because it is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy that position. <laughs> you see? And I want to say, as an individual, I accept the court ruling. I accept that the SABC should follow the proper process. I'm going to apply like any citizen in this country. And one for sure, I believe in myself. <clears throat> I believe that everywhere where I am, I do miracles. And I'm going to do those miracles in the position that I'm going to occupy. And I want to say to you, I'm also aware about politics. You know, I'm not going to deal with politics because I'm not a politician. But we are not going to allow politics to deal with SABC. We're not going to allow that to happen. We as SABC, we are going to be independent and apply our minds independently on all issues that we're going to, 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 to deal with. And I want to say, uh, 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 Professor Maguve, I really appreciate the opportunity that I was given by this wonderful organization. And I commit that I will still uh, make sure that I work hard with the team. I'm still going to engage with the team and make sure that the team, they are happy where they are. Make sure that they are excited about their role within the organization. One of the units there is the marketing unit. You are aware that we have taken a decision to say SABC, you can't use agency to market SABC. When you have expertise and skills employees within the organization and SABC is paying them, those people, they can't just get money if they don't work. And we outsource their work, but they are working within the organization. Is that deeping for the organization? We are going to deal with all those issues. 
In technology, we must make sure that SABC technology is up to scratch. You know, new technology is cheaper than the old technology. SABC has been dragging this uh, old technology. We are saying this is the time to change, especially in the provinces. We need more new technology. And if you look at our corporate plan, and the team here, including the acting GCO, they can attest to that. We went around and talked to other broadcasters because the team of the SABC, some of them in technology, they have been misleading the organization to say to us, to build a studio, you need three years. I was sweating because content, you can have good content if your technology is not up to scratch, forget. He said, no, chief, you will take uh, three years. I'm not a technology person. I asked uh, 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 the acting GCO and other team, we went around. I also went abroad. Ask people now, because you know, I believe in the in, in research that I do it practically. How long if you want to take and build a studio? You know, they said, no, three months. I was shocked. So we have turned the corner at the SABC. Everything that we do, we are not going to take three years like previously. We will move with speed and we will compete with other broadcasters. And what we did at the SABC, we have changed the procurement policy. SABC, if you pitch for content, you are not going to take three years. You know, previously, SABC, what you do? Uh, 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 SABC, we sit down for a year, we deal with specification, we deal with all these matters. A year, second year, we go out for tender, third year, we go. And I have been asking people, before you wake up, we'll be out. Not even delivering what you're supposed to deliver. So we have changed that policy within the organization. The policy is flexible within the organization, but it is important also for you as journalists. Don't push agenda of other people. Because we are aware these people, they have their own agenda about the organization. Do work. And there are few journalists that I... I talk to them, I can't mention their names yet. That I, and they talk bad about me, you know that. But I like them, because they do their work properly. They do their research, but sometimes they miss many information. But I appreciate it because I can in their work. Others, they just talk. Example, in, 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 in conclusion, People who've been commenting about the judgment, you know what they do? They go with the vibe. We are having a press conference now. If the vibe go to west, they follow west. East, they just follow. If you can ask them, did you read the judgment? You'll realize that they didn't read the judgment. They are just commenting <coughs> that they are human beings in nature. They like to talk. Because I don't think they have more time to do their work. Their work is to monitor. Hey, what cloud is doing there? What is happening with James Agum and the SABC and the chairperson of the board? That is their job. But we are not bothered about that. What is more important for SABC is we are committing ourselves. We know our role. We know the mandate of the SABC. We will fulfill that mandate. And actually, I want to repeat, people were saying, hey, cloud is arrogant. When he was talking at Mendoza funeral, he was saying people should pay TV license. Maybe you need to understand why I was saying that. I was saying people should pay TV license, and it was relevant at that time, because if you pay TV license, we will be able to pay royalties for those artists. It was relevant. So people, they were talking about their own issues. How we hijack the funeral. How we did not hijack the funeral. Cloud was dealing with the issues that are relevant to the artist. And any leader, you will deal with those issues in a funeral. So I was not hijacking anything. So it is important when you report your affair, you balance your stories, you don't just do story for the sake of doing stories. I'm also aware that I'm selling more newspapers. 
I'm aware. You run with Saudi, uh, uh, your newspapers before 10 o'clock, they are gone. <laughs> because uh, Saudi is the brand. I'm aware of that, that uh, why you follow this Saudi. I'm aware. You go to social media, Saudi is tracking number one, number two, number three. I'm aware that, yeah, you're making money, man. I'm happy for you. And uh, I want to say, I'm happy especially about the judgment and I like, and I want to repeat, I like Judge Davis. That doesn't mean I don't like other judges. I like all of them. But when I was there, you know he was cracking jokes. Hey, but that joke, some of the jokes, they were punishing me. I can feel in my blood. But I was happy because he did justice. And one of the questions that he, he asked which no one was able to answer was, okay, remember when we appealed after the disciplinary hearing, we went there and said, no, that was cleared. And he said, but that was cleared after the effects. I'm who I am. I agree with him. And I went and read that judgment. I agree with him. The issue that I was raising is, you know, we have our constitutional right if we are unhappy, to do to the cause. But it is wrong say no, and they don't uh, abuse the court process. When it's us, we abuse the court process. And everybody, including the DA, they should uh, 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 respect the court process. Example, the SABC is reviewing the public protect <coughs> because people went in my disciplinary hearing and during my disciplinary hearing, most of them, they distanced themselves. And that disciplinary hearing, it was a public disciplinary hearing, where people said, we have never been in that office of the public protector. They said that. On record. You as media, because you are not interested in those issues, you were focusing on what you want. But people, where the public protector said, they went there, they said, no, we don't even know that office. So what are, you, what are you doing as journalists? That is the question that I'm asking. For you, what is your agenda? Why can't you be fair when you report about these matters? And that matter, now I'm aware because I'm the employee of the SABC, SABC is reviewing that report. If you can go to court and get the documents, transcripts, you'll, you'll be shocked about those transcripts. You'll be shocked. Just go and do your work and check what happened during the interview between me and the public protector. And I want to say, I respect that office of the public protector. But I need to emphasize, people should not abuse their power when they deal with the issues. You know, sometimes when you you, 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 you want to reach to a certain conclusion. If there are no facts to reach your conclusion, don't push beyond the facts. Thank you very much.